What's going on, my light and ones? This is your boy Mosh the MC back again. And one thing I gotta tell you guys is that Pollen plays no games. Pollen has been beating my ass the last couple of days, and I don't know what to do to get rid of it. But I've been drinking my water, taking my Claritin, and here we are with another video talking about the end of Wano Act 3. That has been looming around the corner for quite some time now, and everyone's expecting it's supposed to be happening in the next couple chapters, but who knows? But as we all know that this uh, Anwano act has been uh, basically really based on a Kabuki play and that act three was supposed to end in a tragedy. And we have no idea what that tragedy could be. So let's talk about first uh, Hawkins. Hawkins uh, predicted that there's a 1% chance of someone surviving, but we're not really sure who it was. It could be Luffy. It could be Kid. And let's talk on those two people right now. Well, if it's a 1% chance that uh, someone survives, it's definitely going to be Luffy because Luffy is not dying. He's MC. So let's switch over to his uh, counterpart or his rival, not really rival so far, but his counterpart in Eustace Kid. To be honest, I do believe Eustace Kid may die in the end of Wano, by the end of Wano, for a couple of reasons. One is because the death flags have been read around him for quite some time now. He's already lost to, he's already encountered all four Yonko, maybe not Blackbeard, or actually maybe definitely not Blackbeard. He's encountered Kaido, Big Mom, and Shanks so far. To Shanks, he lost his arm. The big mom, he uh, grabbed something from her and left. And uh, with Kaido, he basically got one shot at or he, he lost and was pr imprisoned. So, if Yusuke's kid is to die, how does that help the story moving forward? Well, so far, we already know that Luffy's like main antagonist or main rival is going to end up being the world government and Blackbeard. So, Yusuke's kid after this arc really doesn't play much of a... Um, much of a threat to beating him to the one piece i mean he really didn't to begin with like i said luffy's mc but we're not going to talk about that dynamic of the story we're talking about him being a rival going forward his crew won he already mentioned that jimbei joining his crew and law being a subordinate of him he was ready to have a problem with that so that's just showing that like he doesn't really care what they think but in reality he does and he knows that his right now his uh his crew really doesn't uh keep up or like uh, when you compare the two, it really doesn't really make much sense because, like, the Luffy has Zoro as a second commander. He has Killer. I mean, after that, it's pretty much no one else. So, uh, there was speculation that Killer might die and then uh, the chances of his crew growing or picking up other members. But let's talk on that for a moment. Right now, Kid is going facing off with uh, Big Mom. Actually, let's not even think about Kid dying because there's a 1% chance of many people dying, but I'm not really going to say it's Kid, but I'm saying this, the chances of Kid dying are higher than a lot of other people in the story. So, right now, Kid is fighting Big Mom. Law is on the way there, and there are two uh, Toby Robo members passed out right there near him, and that goes for, it is uh, Page One and Alti. So, a lot of speculation is that after the Beast Pirates are disbanded by Luffy and company, that a lot of the Toby Robo have no place to go. And one thing I realized about... Um, Ulti is that she loves strength. Like she admired Kaido a lot because of how strong he was. And she's going to wake up and see that same thing. Because right now, her, Page One, Law, and Kid all want to take out Big Mom. And if Kid leads that charge into actually or inevitably defeating Big Mom, that will be a game-changing feat for not only him, but also enlighten the likes of Page One and Ulti. Because they saw that Kaido has been slain to follow someone else. And the perfect picture, the perfect person in that situation would be um would be kid and they already have sort of that punk dynamic with the attire they wear the mask the uh all black suits but that's not how the toby robert dress but i feel like they would fit in with the kid pirates with that rambunctious like uh uh, uh loose cannon type of vibe right on the kid pirates so i feel like that would end up i feel like that's going to end up happening that he's going to end up picking up ulti and page one and add it to his crew and killer may and actually let's uh go over to killer now Hawkins mentioned that Killer has a 92% chance of survival, but he did not say that he has a 92% survival against him because he can, uh, Killer can inevitably defeat Hawkins and then go and die to someone else later on in the uh, war arc. But if Kid, if Killer does die, that will be the catalyst for Kid to show his true character with his Conqueror's Hockey, with uh, why he's rivaled with Luffy so far, why he had a higher bounty than Luffy pre time skip, all that. Because a lot of things, a lot of talk has been about Kid and like how he hasn't really shown up in the war so far and how we're expecting so much from him. So I want to say Kid survives. Right now, I'm going to say Kid is definitely in the surviving, uh, the survivor. She's definitely one of the survivors or not the 1% chance of the man dying. Okay, I, I got mixed up, but we move. Let's go. We move on to now Marco. You see, Marco has already fulfilled most of the things he needed to do in the story. He needed to, uh, one, help... Uh, help Luffy in some way, shape, or form because of Ace's uh, will. He needed to uh, settle down with uh, Black uh, Whitebeard's, uh, Whitebeard's land. And now that Weevil is being chased by the Marines, I feel like he's going to end up being... Uh, 
separated from his mom and actually not really going to destroy a uh, white bird's uh, property or white bird's land but actually going to protect it instead because he's going to need somewhere to go and maybe he might get incorporated into the elbath story but really i mean he's he's a plot point that we really don't know where it's going to go right now and the thing is the death or the tragedy of act three needs to be something impactful so when you think about characters who impact the story or what, something that's really impactful, we want to think about Marco. Because right now, Paro Sparrow is there about to try to kill him or aid the um, Beast Pirates in killing him. Because he doesn't really know what's going on with Big Mom right now and how she doesn't really like the Beast Pirates because of what they did to Okobori Town. Which doesn't really mean, mean much because she was literally going to kill uh, Otama last chapter. But... No, Pelspero has that uh, inkling of wanting to interrupt the fight in some way, shape, or form, and maybe aid Marco, maybe hinder Marco. I feel like it's going to hinder Marco before Nekomomushi actually gets there. He's going to do something to inevitably make Marco be uh, submissive to uh, King and Queen and possibly die to one of the two. Because right now, everyone's headed to the live floor, and I don't know, there's not much for Marco to do or interact with Luffy with. Maybe like to tell him, like, okay, Luffy, I'm here, like, I'm here to win, I'm here to help the war. But after that, I don't really see much. Maybe, like, to uh, give him more information about what's going on in the outside world. But if Marco does die, one, his fruit's going to be a fruit that's going to be lingering around in that area. So, I mean, someone's gonna, definitely going to get it. And maybe his job's not done. Maybe his job is to heal Zoro and Luffy. Maybe. But I, at the same time, I, but this actually goes into another theory. That Kaido actually goes to save Luffy and execute him on the cross in the life floor with everyone watching. And then... Why before he dies, uh, like Marco is like slain in front of his eyes, or Hyogoro is slain in front of his eyes. Because Luffy, if a tragedy is supposed to happen, I do believe Luffy has to see it happen just for not only his character development, but also the stories of progression. And him being taken to the life floor to be slain or watch one of his uh, combatants be slain, because you know Kaido is the is the one that disbands crews, uh, hence Mora in the uh, Thriller Bark arc. But if that happens, that would not only be a tragedy, a great way to end Act 3, but also propel Luffy to that next power up, like the power of friendship or the power of watching someone be slain. Because the last time he actually saw someone die, that was his brother right in front of his eyes and Pedro. But the more impactful one was definitely when he watched, uh, was when he watched uh, Ace die, obviously, in his arms. So uh, I'm going to say Marco is definitely in the uh, Red Flags maybe dying. Killer, Red Flags maybe dying um who else who else do we have um had a list but i'm trying to just do it off my memory um none of the straw hats definitely none of the straws will be dying here gore already showed red flags earlier in the arc when he um showed the uh, remnants of his past when he was able to do i forgot the sort the, the technique name but it was pretty badass we took out basically like all of the um the ninja on the floor and basically half like basically half the people that were fighting against the alliance were taken out in one in one strike and here goro being the uh luffy being his protege and then Luffy seeing him die in front of him, that might actually catapult Luffy as well to do uh, to his next power up. Also, him maybe being able to tell him something else like, "Oh, I see that you're able to float the chakra. Float chakra. This is not Naruto. Flow your hockey better than before. It was great to see you before I went on to the next world." And then boom, there goes Hyogoro. So we have Marco, Kid, Hyogoro, and Killer so far. Um. Scabbers, I mean, Ashiro Doji's already down. We don't know what's going to happen to him. To be honest, actually, the tragedy might be the Scabbers in a totality just dying. Like, maybe not Kinemon, because Kinemon already left to go fight Kanjo, so he won't be in the forefront of people watching him. Actually, he may get slain by him or Okiku. Okiku has red flags, too. But let's go down all the Scabbers. Uh, Dendro, I'm not really sure where he is right now, but we're actually getting a map of where everyone is this upcoming chapter, so that would be pretty helpful. Uh, Dendro, I don't know where he is. Ashu Doji is blown up by Kanjiro. Okiku and Kinemon are going after Kanjiro right now. Uh, Shinobu is with Momo. Uh, Neko is going after uh, Parasparo, and um, Inu is still fighting Jack. What I see happening is that Neko is going to fight Parasparo and may be defeated because of outside forces, as well as Inu being defeated by Jack. And also, Kinemon and uh, Okiku will be have left. And I feel like those two, just like we, how we saw them um, being persecuted when we first got they got introduced to the story, I feel like it's, it's going to be another thing where they might get executed on the live floor as well, and that might be a tragedy. I feel like the tragedy might end up being multiple deaths, not just one, because people are saying that, oh, maybe it's the flower, I mean, Onigashima flung on the flower capital. Yes, that may happen, but at the same time, that's really morbid for One Piece. And I feel like with Luffy falling and uh, a lot of 
people being able to in that a lot of people being outside in that vicinity it may change the course of onigashima falling maybe it may be destroyed maybe be, may be held up by momo but i feel like the tragedy is going to end up happening on onigashima because the tragedy has to be something impactful to everybody yes kaido may drop the flower yes onigashima will be impactful to everyone but at the same time that's a, a large scale like act of destruction and i don't feel like that's going to happen right now maybe it might get a tease of it happening and luffy actually does save the all of the flower capital momo holds up onigashima but I don't think that's going to be the tragedy. I feel the tragedy is going to be something on the live floor and it might ha end up being, that's what I'm saying, it might be Marco because Marco's there or it could be the uh, some of the scarabs literally being executed in front of everyone's eyes because that'll be the that'll be the thorn that, uh, or the hump that, the hump that broke the camel's back. I think, no. The straw that broke the camel's back. There we go. I know I'm not that dumb, okay? So we had scarabs, Marco, uh, Marco, Kid, Killer, definitely not Luffy. So I feel like, I feel like I went down through everyone that possibly might die by the end of Act 3. I know it's not going to be all of them, but it could be a majority of them. And that might be the tragedy to end off the um, act. People are saying that Luffy falling or uh, them taking out Ulti was the end of Act, act 3. But I feel like the way Act 3 has been... The way Act 3 has been flowing, I don't think that's going to be the end of everything. I feel like there has to be something else or something more for like all of us to really hit the audience and like, wow. This the raid is real. Like this is this is this is really happening. Like it really may fail, and it all and in totality, it really might fail to begin with, or the first portion may fail, and then they regroup and win again. Because right now, Luffy, like this is Luffy's rest period. This is Luffy when like Luffy's gonna sit, sit back, get rested, or get healed by somebody, and he's going to contemplate the fights he had before and incorporate some new idea with his devil fruit or with his hockey or something, shape or form, for him to actually go out against Kaido again. And I feel like it's going to end up being all the straw hats against Kaido, where as like they're gonna do like one huge group attack and then they slay and then they slay kaido at the end who knows maybe luffy maybe zoro zk cake ah, ah, ah. but i kid but for the most part i feel like i went down went through everyone that possibly may die and i don't think it's going to be like someone on like someone that's on mono right now that wouldn't really hit or none of the big mom pirates that wouldn't really hit none of the law pirates i mean that might hit for law but at the same time wouldn't hit for the audience uh, the kid pirates, like I said, it's just him and Killer that really, really impactful characters that we like really care about dying. Um, uh, like I said, none of the Straw Hats. So I feel like, yeah, it maybe even oh, like, huh, maybe like I, this one may maybe really morbid too. But like maybe Otama, like I, I don't want to say like maybe she gets the life floor, she gives her final orders, and like uh queen because the queen already has a vendetta against otama because she was tricked by uh otama basically well she wasn't tricked by otama per se but otama basically using her fruit tricked everyone into thinking that um i think making making queen think that uh, udon prison was okay and she, her taking all over uh over all the beast pirates or all the gifters and most of the beast pirates so maybe otama dying would be the catalyst to send it off of act, oh, act three because right now otama is the mv mvp otama mvp of onigashima right now and maybe her like dying wish is like uh you guys all all help the uh straw hats and alliance to win this war at Owen wano and help uh ace's brother half the people won't even know who ace's brothers is but i feel like that would really hit like i'm choking up even thinking about it thinking about otama dying i know that's like really crazy to even think about but like it may happen like we don't know who the one percent person uh man is to survive or to die or one i think it's one percent chance of survival but i do believe that one of the those characters i mentioned will end up dying by the end of or before the end of uh act three or that will be the ending of act three and i feel like the most impactful one would be otama and the one that's far-fetched but also would be very impactful would be kid so we have kid marco hiogoro killer it's one of the scabbards otama uh, i think i went that's it but what do you guys think who do you guys think is going to be the tragedy of act three? Oh, a lot of people are saying law i don't want to put law in that category because i feel like laws with his fruit especially with the um the immortal fruit the mortal part of like uh the mortal surgery that he has like his fruit plays a bigger part in the story and it's i don't think the ending of act three and him using it at the end of act three would work unless it's one of the unless it's one to say one of the straw hats and in that case they will get more of a um of a Beppo situation where Beppo goes insane. I do believe the part pirates though themselves need more um, screen time. And that's why I feel like Luffy's gonna be end up being saved by the octopus and uh, Jean Bart and the Polar Tang. And uh, Beppo is still gonna get a Sulong, Sulong form. And we're gonna be like, wow, I can see why Heart, uh, besides how he looks and being a, a panda, I can see why, um, or bear, panda, koala, Beppo, definitely a bear. 
there. We move. I'm not sure. But definitely why Beppo or Law was so attracted to Beppo to begin with. Not just his strength, but not just his cuteness, but his strength as well. But, uh, yeah. So, what do you guys think? Who do you guys think the tragedy or what do you guys think the tragedy of Act 3 will be? Leave a comment down below. And like I said, at the end of every single video, I, guys, I always mess this part up. I stumble a lot. <laughs> like I said, at the end of every single video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button and the bell button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.